Check this out. Just got brown hair. That there is a state house. And um, that one there is a state house too. So the house that we've been working on in these previous episodes was a state house like that. So it's been many years since they were built and they need a lot of work. And that is why the owner put a brand new roof on there. And uh, we've done previous work at his house, but we avoided doing the ceilings because the roof was leaking. You know, you don't want to damage your new ceiling. Get a new roof first. But now that the roof is done, we're ready for our new ceiling. And that's what we're going to do today. Now when it comes to ceilings and plasterboard in general, I've uh, used these in the past and I've complained about these in the past. But after reading a lot of your comments, apparently it's all about depth adjustment. So I'm gonna give it another shot today. So yeah, you remember the old ceiling that we took down? That's what's on a lot of these state houses, that pinboard ceiling with the timber battens on all the joints. They've always wanted to update it with some nice flat plasterboard. Now the roof's done, we can do that. Also, now that we've re-screwed all this because, and I don't think I got this point across properly when I took the ceiling down, this new plasterboard is a lot heavier than the old stuff. Hence the reason we had to spend time straightening and screwing this off. It's taking a lot more weight. We also spent time doing this. This is a lot more open than it used to be. So the same beam is in here, it's just a little bit higher. And the engineer got us to put these straps in to help with stability. And the straps also come down to this post. And this post goes down to the floor and it has a strap going down to the floor framing below. There's a bear line running directly under the post. So uh, it opens the place up a little bit more. So there's the different screw lengths. And here's Pyta. How's that wrist? Oh, it's getting better, you know. That's good. It's been about a week now, so... Pyta fell off the skateboard. Yeah. It won't lock in any different depth, bro. That, well, that button doesn't seem to be doing it. Yeah, mine was... Is it that button, maybe? Was it this one? Oh, there you go. Maybe it's that one. Oh, there you go. It's that button there. It's all of these little, little locks. Oh, yeah. It. So what do you do? You press that. Press that and then you can move it. And it locks into there. So is that on 32 now? So that'll be, yeah, that'll be 32. And then you got 32 on the line. We're using 3.6 sheets, 10 mil. That works out to be a sheet and a half per run. We got a chalk line. Chalk. All right, there is a screw on our chalk line. So when we bring the sheet up, we butt it right into there, rather than the wonky wall. So we're pushing it to the screw there. Yep. There you go. It's not perfect, but straighter than it was. One issue that we've always had, this screws it in at a certain depth, and the timber is all different densities, I guess is the word. <laughs> One minute the timber is quite hard to um, screw into, and the next minute it just flies in, and that's just the nature of native New Zealand timber. So you have the ability to adjust the depth with your hands. We're drilling it all on with this and then making adjustments with this. But sometimes we go too far with this. So it's just a case of constant adjustments. Keep the plaster happy, eh, Pato? We're on side of the stay. Don't Don't put screws in. Also, whenever you're doing a ceiling, 
stagger the joins. If you join all your plasterboard in one place, it's bad for the structure of the ceiling and it's also bad for the plaster joins. Because if you have a crack, you'll have a crack across the whole ceiling. So staggering the joins is basically just joining it in a different place each time. Don't join it on the same piece of timber. Got it. You just need to go in a bit, bro. Just to. Yep. Is that good? That's good. Sweet. Bit of uh, pasta ball glue, and now we're almost ready for morning tea. It's that time of day. See how I did that? Yeah, you should, you should have another job, part-time Uber. <laughs> great, great skills there, Scott. Thanks, Bada. You want to wind that window up? You're going to see? Classic. Pine of coffee. Just like the Smuggler Town t-shirt. What well, this one? Bing! What is this? Scruff Scruff with cheese, bro. What'd you get? Chicken satay panini. Are you excited? Yeah. My dad's gonna work out, walk out of there with a birthday cake, eh? <laughs> Just cause. Just cause you can. It's a very relaxed looking cat there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very happy with how that worked out. We can rip a sheet in half and uh, not waste any. So now that the ceiling's gonna be done, we're able to jump back up there and put the insulation back on. In order to get up there, we're going to improve this. We're going to put a ceiling hatch that come, folds down into a ladder. And I've been assured that it's going to arrive today. So hopefully it arrives before the end of this episode. Just had a uh, meeting and look what's here. It's the staircase ladder attic hatch thing. How did it go, Potter? Oh, what's that? The Insulation. Oh, I can't hear a thing now. So warm in here. So cozy. You know, this wall was very um, crooked, so Pato started packing it. And then we can line these walls. How much we got? So this is a job for a future exciting episode. Carry on with the gym. And this is exposed from here to there, is exposed through the entryway. And the entryway is inside technically, but you know you can get a bit of noise for people coming in and out. So sound insulation and a little bit of little bit of warmth. We're also going vertical because this is a little bit more than 2.4 so we got two seven sheets and if you go horizontal the boards are only 1200 so you'd be 1200 1200 and then a little bit at the top and that little bit at the top is a whole other join you have to plaster and a whole other sheet you have to cut some plasterboard off so it's only this little area that we're going you know full wall so a few sheets that's it You reckon Pato, nice and straight now? Oh, bro, I've never seen anything like it, eh? There's just a big dip there, but... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't I'm know. Nah, 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 nah. Too, nah. I won't accept that. Wow, I've never seen anything like it, Pato. Yeah, this is just a bit of a wing wall. Okay. Yeah, it's just like... 
Just so people can walk around it for no reason, you know? Oh, okay. Yep. Just a little obstacle. So there's a design feature, Pato? Yeah, it's, it's just Scott Brown specialty. Okay, so it's t oh, you just paint that, do you? Yeah, you just paint the edge, then it's white. Beautiful, wow. Yep. That's really good looking, man. <laughs> well, that's where you fill it. Well, straight here. A lot straighter. Yeah, no, that's sweet, bro. Hey, buddy. It's not ideal. Hey, mate. What's up to? Not much. <laughs> He's like actually answering. Yes, sir. Here's a 110. Must have crooked wrists or something, Pyder. Why is that? Oh, because you keep putting the screws in? Yeah. What do you think of it so far? Yeah, I like it. Yeah? Just doing the job today? Yeah. Maybe you and I slipped it out of practice, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. 